My name's Danny Hope. I'm the founder of UX Brighton and I'm the curator of UX Brighton 2024. What we want to do with this year's conference is answer the question that's on the lips of many uh, designers, researchers and UX managers, which is what do I need to know about AI? It's been a couple of years now since uh, ChatGPT 3.5 came out and really showed everyone in a in a visceral, immediate way uh, what AI was capable of. And I think that sent um, sort of shockwaves through the UX community because there are many, many questions now about how we work, uh, the things like the design patterns that we uh, that we employ. Um, and frankly, whether we're still going to have jobs. So one of the things that's exciting me at the moment about the intersection of UX and AI is the realization that UXers can go beyond creating uh, so-called deliverables or artifacts. And actually, we can work on the real thing. We can work on actual software now because uh, AI is making it possible for us to create working code that's actually well written and, and, and will really run. So that's, I, I think there's a huge, there's a huge potential for design minded people to be the founders of things. We can actually create products now without necessarily depending on developers so much. Um, at least in the early stages, we can create kind of stuff that just about works. We can put ideas out into the world we don't just have to put ideas in front of our teammates. We can actually put things out into, into the real world in front of uh, uh, customers. Um, and I think that tightens up the, the iterative loop. We get to see the feedback. We get to actually implement solutions ourselves. Uh, that's really cool. There are three fundamental reasons that uh, a researcher, a designer, a manager should come to UX Brighton. We're going to give you a, a way of framing the, 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 the question, uh, mapping out the landscape, if you like, of, of this, this question, uh, what do I need to know about AI? Um, so we're going to give you like philosophical uh, understanding or technical understanding of what AI is. And then with that done, we're going to help you see how AI is going to provide new ways for you to, to, to deliver your work. And we're going to see, um, the new things that you can produce, the, the features you can put in your products, the uh, maybe the features you can take out of your products, but the, the, all the design patterns uh, that, that are now uh, that are now possible due to AI. Um, and I suppose that the 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 kind of one of the underlying benefits to all that is I think the the UXer that is au fait with AI is going to have a, an absolutely massive advantage over. Um, the, the one who isn't. I don't know if I, it's like asking like who, which, which is your favorite child. <laughs> I'm not going to answer that, but I would like to acknowledge the uh, the tremendous input that my friend Glenn Jones has had on on the curation of the event. Glenn's a super experienced guy. He's a, a he's an entrepreneur, successful entrepreneur, uh, rare thing. Uh, and, and a designer and a, and a techie guy. So he's kind of the, the, you know, the startup team all in one person. And he's been experimenting, creating products uh, around AI for, um, for a number of years now. And we've had many conversations in the lead up to, uh, to November's event. Uh, it's been really, uh, really informative, really opened my eyes, broadened my mind and um, uh, drawn my attention to some, some concepts that I think need talking about and uh, to, to, to some speakers that I think, we need to hear from so i'd like to acknowledge glenn's uh, glenn's input um, but he's not my favorite <laughs> they're all my favorite <laughs> i want people to leave the conference um feeling less nervous feeling like maybe they can master this thing maybe they can take control of the technology rather than technology being this big scary thing that's kind of controlling them. One of the things we want to do is show you how you can confront AI in order to um, be more in that first camp of like, this is a useful set of things that make me better as a UXer. Uh, 